The topic for this lesson is equations. And in this lesson, you're first asked to solve for x. And you're given the equation 3 times 12x plus 12 minus 6 plus 1 equals 1 plus 4x plus 2x. And you can take a second right now and try to work this problem out for yourself. But if you have any problems here, I'm going to provide some notes on the right. And the first thing you want to do is use the distributive property. So for example, you multiply 3 times 12x. And then you multiply 3 times 12. And you wind up getting 36x plus 36 minus 6 plus 1 equals 1 plus 4x plus 2x. So you can check off step 1. And we move on to step 2, which is combine like terms on each side of the equation. So you can take a look here, and what you want to do is add like terms. So let's identify the like terms. 36x plus 36 minus 6 and plus 1. The 36 gets dropped down. And plus 36 minus 6 and plus 1, you can combine those like terms and get yourself plus 31. Now, on the other side of the equation, you have a 1 plus 4x and a plus 2x. If you combine those like terms, you wind up getting 1 plus 6x. Now, like terms are combined. So we can check off step 2. Let's move on to step 3. Use inverse operations to move the variable to one side and the constant to the other side. So we're going to subtract 6x from one side. And whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. And by subtracting, 6 positive 6x and minus 6x will cancel each other out. And now you're left with 30x plus 31 equals 1. And again, you want to isolate x. So you're going to subtract 31 from both sides of the equation. Minus 31. And you wind up crossing out positive 31 and negative 31. Cancel each other out. And you're left with 30x equals negative 30. Here, the variable and constants are on opposite sides of the equal sign. And now we can check off step number three, which brings us to step number four. Use inverse operations to solve for x. So again, we're going to divide by 30. And whatever we do to one side, we do to the other side. The 30s cancel each other out. And you wind up with x equals negative 1. And that's your final answer. So let's check off step number 4. And don't forget to use the notes at the right to study as you practice these problems.